you may have started your day by doing it and you may need to do it some more before the sun sets tonight. We're talking about snow shoveling, an activity that can cause lots of aches and pains and injuries. So Dr. David Rosner from Spectrum Health Medical Group is here with some helpful tips for us to stay safe while fighting the snow battle. We're getting more snow than we really had anticipated, right? Yes, we are. And one of the things that is so important is making sure that you're ready to shovel and get through all of the snow and do it in a safe way. You've got a lot of great tips for staying warm and bundling up too. Sure. Uh, one of the uh, most important things is, is dress and mm -hmm. the proper type of clothing. Um, making sure that everything um, um, is covered um, and nothing um, is exposed, meaning your hands, um, mittens or gloves, mm -hmm. as well as proper boots, proper clothing in terms of a uh, coat, which is supposed to be water resistant, and um, definitely having a scarf, a hat, mm -hmm. and something to cover your face as well. Yeah, when you talk about bundling up, that's really going to keep you insulated. It's going to keep your muscles a little bit warmer, but there's a lot of snow to be shoveled out of the walkways, the driveways right now. And when you're doing that, it really is quite a workout. So do you think that when you're getting out there, you can see a lot of people shoveling, there's snow blowing. Is it good to stretch? Yes. Or is that kind of a silly question? Nope, not silly at all. Um, absolutely, it's extremely important to stretch. Um, shoveling snow is an exercise, so um, proper preventative um, um, care is stretching before any kind of exercise. So proper warming up the muscles um, is definitely uh, something that we all should be doing prior to going outside and shoveling snow. You know, when I am on my commute to work every day, I see people outside, they're shoveling and they're throwing the snow over their shoulder. That is a no-no, isn't it? Yep, that is a very common mistake and that can um, definitely cause injuries. Um, one of the ways is uh, I do encourage people um, to make sure they push the snow, um, don't lift it, but there are some instances where we're going to have to lift the snow because we have so much snow out there. Um, and if you do have to lift the snow, making sure that you don't lift past your shoulders. Okay. And also making sure that you um, stand appropriately when you're, when you're lifting and making sure you're lifting from your legs mm -hmm. and not your back. So I tell people to making sure that they uh, keep their legs apart, mm -hmm. knees bent, squat, and keep the back nice and straight when you're lifting the snow. Okay, and you know, even if you're not shoveling snow, if you've got a husband out there that's doing it for you, you're very, very lucky, but then you also have to walk across the ice, and especially for some of these uh, people that are a little bit older in the community, this can be danger zone. Yep. For falling, slipping, breaking hips and arms. Do you have any tips for walking safely? Um, making sure that you're telling people where you're gonna be at. And um, to your point, um, if you see ice and if you see it slick, making sure that you avoid those, um, those areas. And um, a common thing too, if the temperature is, is extremely cold out there, like it is, sometimes the salt won't work. So don't bet on your salt working out there sometimes. Yeah, and we know that a lot of people that are commuting right now, you never know if your car unfortunately is going to break down. You get stranded. What happens then? Well, making sure that you stay inside, mm -hmm. keep the car and making sure that the heat's on and making sure that you call for help. Okay, these are great tips. Are you at Spectrum Health Medical Group seeing a lot of people come in with aches and pains from doing this shoveling and trying to figure out maybe what they did wrong? Sure, and um, the most common injuries um, of shoveling snow is sprains and strains to your back as well as your shoulders. Okay, and if someone is at home, they can contact you if they're hurt or if they just want some preventative care. They can also call you. How do they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Um, the practice is at um, Blodgett Hospital on the professional side. It's 1900 Wealthy Street, Suite 200. And just give us a call and we're more than happy to take care of you. Okay, and I love the tip that you said. If you're in your car, you get stranded, or even if you're going on hikes, you're going snow shoeing, or if you're going skiing, let someone know where you are so if something happens, someone can come to your aid. Absolutely, and making sure that your phone um, is just fully charged before you go outside. Great tips. Thank you so much, and people can find out more on your website. Absolutely, thank you. Great, thank you so much. All right, stay right there. We'll be back right after this quick break. Are you West? 